Hello guys, welcome to this Fortnite 3ds Max modeling tutorial and I uh, hope by the end of this tutorial you're gonna understand how to model and how to properly structure and block out and shape the powder, a poor, I don't know what the hell is it but uh, yeah, you're gonna understand how to recreate this sort of asset by following simple uh, polygonal modeling techniques and methods and if I back out into the reference image of this booter. You can see that I'm being following this uh, concept art by someone I found on DeviantArt or somewhere else. So if you do a quick Google search, you're gonna find out the same image, and you're gonna be able to follow along if you wish in Auto Display this Max. And uh, this is sort of hard, um, hard modeling techniques. And yeah. I hope you enjoy and uh, I'm gonna see you by the end of this video. Oh, and by the way, by in the description you can see links below. If you're interested in game development and uh, 3D modeling, you can check out and go to the uh, link below and sign up for a trial, okay? Thanks. Alright, so I load up the references from which I start to block out the mesh. I start with a simple plane, assign a quick brown material and try to divide the plane into the segments how many the planks actually are on the reference image which is somewhere around 6 now I created the hole in between because uh, that's what you need when you try to go to the toilet right so you want, want some uh, sort of a hole uh, to get uh, things done so that's what I did I added more segments into it added a shell modifier or extruded the mesh downwards just to create some thickness in it and obviously we have the hole which then goes down and follows the top of the geometry now from here I'm trying to divide the meshes into uh, single pieces so then I can uh, take into account every mesh individually and do modifications and edits on an individual planks or pieces as you can see on the video here if you follow along so what I'm trying to do here is I detach the mesh from uh, the whole piece then there is open faces that, that which I cap and bridge together because in game development you don't want any open faces you want everything to be closed uh, together no openings no nothing so because if there's openings there might be instances the lighting doesn't bake correctly and you could expect uh, more problems. Now here, from here I divide the planks and I'm trying to add the bevels because it looks nice and we are following stylized concept art. Usually stylized concept art has some sort of bevels and bevels react really good uh, whenever you do lighting. There's just this cool spotlight which uh, the bevel catches and just looks nicer overall. And now here what I'm doing now is I'm adding some sort of a differentiation on the mesh, a variety, because nothing in real, in real life is uh, completely perfect, so I'm trying to add some imperfections here and there so it looks more realistic and believable. And it just gives more <coughs> better silhouette and structure and a feel for the mesh itself. So. I've taken uh, some of the tops, doing some rotations on left or right, and taking ends and make something a little bit uh, lengthier than the other ones. And uh, here, from I'm making the bottom part of the puder by just creating a simple box from the geometry modifier, uh, sorry, the tab, and position that into downwards, align the vertices as they match, do a little silhouette for the bottom do a little arc type of thing, just give a little bit of imperfection and uh, interesting so it does look interesting uh, whenever you look at it from a distance so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create the a hole into the mesh because we want to create the pudder uh, in, 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 in the near future so that's why I'm creating the hole and then we're gonna insert the cylinder afterwards uh, as you see in the reference 
from here what I'm trying to do is trying to optimize the mesh so the edges follow a cool structure so it has a, a nice feel and structure just trying to do cleanups, deleting some edges and vertices uh, making sure uh, the mesh is clean and the uh, vertices are aligned in horizontal or vertical fashion so from here what I did is I created the cylinder from primitive geometry and uh, doing some something like 12 or 16 sides we don't need much because we're, it's not going to be that visible to the player anyways and uh, I kept it, flipped the normals and added some of the uh, smoothing ribs so it looks smooth uh, here I'm creating the top again same fashion the cylinders uh, so from the uh, geometry rollout uh, everything you possibly can imagine you can create from primitives so that's what I like to start I like to start from the primitives and then I can convert that to the edible poly and do uh, as you can see I can do manual cuts where I want them to be by following the reference uh, you see on the background detaching the planks one by one so I'm dealing with singular meshes and I treat everything differently so I don't work with the, a whole piece but uh, into multiple different meshes and it helps with the edge flow and vertices so it doesn't mess up everything kind of it's a cool way to work so here I added some bevels uh, so the lighting catches some of the uh, so sorry the mesh catches some of the lighting and it just looks when it's rendered or baked into the game engine the lighting <coughs> trying to bridge closed and close the open edges as you can as you can tell okay now I'm creating the planks that are you uh, that you can see as an age uh, sort of shape trying to do some differentiation do some rotation so the plank doesn't follow as a vertical give it a little bit rotation on, on, the, on the below to just give it some more interesting look and feel same applies to the second one of the planks and the third one doing some imperfections so it looks more stylized and interesting it's always good to do variations, I'll always do variations I never create anything perfect and same, same applies to the buttons started with the cylinder collapsed the top uh, faces so it looks um, more like a screw sort of and it's optimized and game friendly with low polygons and the mesh has around 8000 polygons or so added some colors and uh, yeah positioned the screws as it was into the reference image and now I'm making the toilet paper because that's what you need after you have done your thing so it's a bad thing if you have forgot the toilet paper you know it's a really bad situation you run into so don't forget to model that in as well start with eight sides so we don't uh, access uh, polygons where we don't need them and yeah this wraps the episode position everything for the presentation and click the links below if you love the tutorial or you can learn more of the game development subscribe if you haven't like the video share with your friends and check out channel for future videos if you put subscribe you're gonna have notifications and yeah i'm gonna see you tomorrow